part two. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to me doing it at the very end of the video. You can hear like the button or something clicking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if you can get used to it, then I'm sure you'll. The, actually, you know what? The hardest part for me, whenever I watch something like this, similar, is getting over the fact that you can see the TV. Because that's the one thing I don't like about, uh, like, whatever you want to call it, walkthroughs, but, uh, let's plays, playthroughs, whatever, is, uh, the fact that you can see the TV. That's the one thing that kind of bothered me, but eventually you get used to it, so... You know, hopefully, you do. <sighs> I'm not being stingy with your herbs. I don't know, that's a map. Since seeing as I've beaten this game so many times, I really don't need to know where I'm going. Plus, Resident Evil is more of, This game is more of a straightforward game. It's like, there's not too many puzzles, and there's not a whole lot of backtracking. I mean, there's kind of a decent amount of puzzles, but backtracking is probably the one thing in video games that I would say makes it long. There's not a whole lot of backtracking in this game. Oh, I like just shaking her head in her bag. He's like, ooh. Yeah, you deal with it, buddy. Put some hand on him over here. Oh man, I'm gonna need it. And I need to mix those because I need to pick up. Can I make it? Can I make it? And that. Oh. They tried. <laughs> Get raped. Yeah, so to this point, we're just completely clueless to what he's talking about. And there's like something running around. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so apparently this is a lighter without any oil in it. That's why we combine these. You know? You know? You know? What I mean? you know what I mean? Okay. If you go down this way, it'll take us back to where. That one place I said where, uh... <laughs> I said, uh, let's not go that way, let's go the other way. Or I was trying to debate on which way to go. We saw our first zombie again. Oh, you would! You would. Dang it! Come on. You would want to run fast. Right there. Hmm. Doggy. Pretty good time, I would say. Let's go ahead and put stuff in the box. Hmm. 
Bro, I probably should carry that shotgun. You don't you don't need this lighter for a while. Uh, yeah, we should be good, I can probably eat that. Yeah, let's pick up this stuff now. Uh, we're gonna make some, but I, I'll just. What I usually do is I pick those up and like I'll decide later on if I want to mix them or not. Because what, what they're used for is it's gunpowder, and you use it to make ammo, like handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, magnum ammo, grenade launcher ammo. Uh, so what you do basically is if you A's make handgun ammo, B's make shotgun. And C's make magnum ammo. So three C's make magnum ammo, and like C's combined with anything else make like different types of grenade ammo. Basically, you know what? It's, it's kind of a wet move, but I'm saving. <laughs> Oh, I think this is actually my handgun only game. I'll see what that one. I'm probably never gonna play that. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because since I'm gonna be strolling without any help, and I figure one more hit will put me onto the caution lever, then I should probably just go ahead and save. Don't risk anything. Because if I die, I'm gonna have to restart everything. Okay, so let me explain this during the scene. It's not much for talking, it's just more for viewing. Um, this thing that's gonna... That thing right there. In hard mode, if you kill him, he drops something. Uh, it can be either... It's basically guns, or health. So, if we choose to kill him now, which I don't think I'm gonna do, because I don't even have the ammo for it. He drops something, like I said. Well, if you kill him every time you encounter him, the last thing he drops is infinite ammo. So I figured, you know, no one's gonna want to watch me fight with a monster. Yeah. No one's gonna want to watch me, you know, want to u or use infinite ammo. Because I knew, I know, when I played this game, uh, or no, when I watched this game, somebody played it. This person, you know, killed Nemesis, which is his name. Every time. And the very last time he had infinite ammo, he was like all happy about it. And he's like, yeah, I can beat this game now. Like, super easy. I'm like, that's kind of not fair. You know, I mean, that kind of makes the game, like, less fun in a way and less and a lot less uh, entertaining to watch. So that's why I'm going to skip this fight. And I'll fight him every time from here on out. Me to check that to take out the card. And the reason I chose to fight with him is because you pretty much get through with this faster. Because you need that card to figure out what the code is. So the code is. I think it was 4312. I think so. <laughs> Went way too fast. You, oh, you, wow. The way this game does is based on, like, not every time you play this game will be the same. It's kind of like Left 4 Dead, basically. You know, you'll be playing through the level. Not every level is the exact same. That's kind of the same thing as Resident Evil. In this room, sometimes they're scattered, and another time they'll be all in just one room. Well, guess what one I got? Oh, they were all scattered. You're... Oh. oh, come on. You know, I got stuck on something. Oh, it's all fine. 
she's taking, she's taking damage. And I'm gonna cut it right here.